Well, you know what's up. Y'all know what this is. Actually, y'all probably might not know what this is because I never have it, but it's the mallet for this, uh, mallet, mallet, the singing bowl. Hey girl. Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka. I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. Um, and like with any type of general reading, you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and I like to speak in examples. I like to use analogies within my type of readings because I am just, that's just how I approach tarot. I'm very analytical in that way. And so um, I might be using a business for an example for something and then for you and how it's regarding for you, you could be talking about you, your main focus, your energy, the reading could be more so pertaining to a uh, um, relationship of some type, which I'm already kind of seeing relationships and like, um, we'll get into it obviously, Aquarius, but uh, yeah, so I'm pulling three different rows for you. So yeah, as I was saying, just rely on your intuition and uh, figure out how the cards are speaking to you in your unique situation. Aquarius and so for your I'm pulling three rows for you we have I'm using the angel one for your first row I'm using the anime one for your second row and then I'm using and it's just gonna be general messages and then for your last row we're going to be using the Necronomicon deck where <laughs> we're gonna be using the Necronomicon deck where we're going to be seeing what from this is going to be a message from spirit of what you need to be working on this week uh, to really receive these blessings that we talked about in your first couple of rows, Aquarius. So yeah, I'm going to be pulling clarifiers as I see fitting. So let's just get into your reading right now, right? So for your first row, Aquarius, we have the Knight of Fire, the Sun card, and then a Ten of Water, which is beautiful, beautiful energy right off the bat. I feel like the Knight of Fire this week, this is, something's happening this week. I almost feel as if something's been building up for you for a while, Aquarius. Um, and so this is not really taking you as a surprise. Um, but I also don't want to say this is not like a negative in a negative way either because it's on the same row with the Sun card and the Ten of Water. Um, with the Sun card, like this is the most positive card that you can get in the deck, right? And also I want to point out um, Archangel Uriel. If you're open to connecting to Archangels, I don't know your belief system, Aquarius, obviously, right? If you are open to connecting to different beings, Archangel Uriel would be a very beneficial one to work with this week. Um, but regardless, um, let me continue explaining. The Knight of Fire is just talking about, like, I always associate nights with youthful energy. I always say that. Um, so it's like something new is happening. And I feel like it's not going to be a surprise to you because I feel like it's something that you've been investing a bunch of time into, something you've been trying to work on. Um, and the Sun card comes forward and just in terms of, like, abundance of things working out for you in a beautiful way. So for you, Aquarius, in specific, um because I'm talking to one person named Aquarius. Um, but for you, um, it could be if you're focusing on like a relationship, um, something happens in the relationship this week. Something, some maybe if not on a physical level, maybe on an energetic level of where um, some movement starts happening towards your direction if you're interested in somebody. You know, just an overall positive shift. I say this because we have the 10 of water. 10 of water, I always associate tens with the completion of a cycle. Excuse me, and with the completion of a cycle, but when it's paired with the water card, it's a good thing. Especially paired with the sun card as well. It's a it's a positive way because it's like it's almost as if like you don't have to play the long game anymore. Like the it's almost as if like you don't have to put on put up like all the charades or like play like the little whatever your story is. And if it's talking about career, like you don't have to no longer do some of the, like the grunt work maybe maybe this week like things start picking up traction for you overall this is just a really good week like this is just like the sign of like the night of fire and the sun card aquarius this is straight up just saying like positive movement movement going forward with whatever it is in your life that is actively being manifested that you're trying to um have happen in your life whatever it is that you're focusing on trying to have happen that's what's happening sort of thing right pulling some clarifiers for you so Interesting. We have the Devil card, we have the Ace of Cups, and then we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, Six of Swords. So these are the clarifiers for this first row, Aquarius. And how this is speaking to me, it's almost as if, like, uh, for some people, this Devil card, this, I almost feel like, and I know this is going to be, like, for some people, you're going to, like, raise an eyebrow and be like, what are you talking about? Um, but I speak, I you read tarot intuitively heavily as well and why i also receive messages and i feel so heavily 
and that I feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you need to own this devil energy. You know, like, oh wow, I'm so crazy right now, but <laughs> shut up. No, but genuinely what I mean by this is that I feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you need to break out because I pulled, keep in mind, like I pulled the spread for you Aquarius in your first row when with the Knight of Fire and the Sun. Like there's no, and the Ten of Water as well. Like all three of these cards, Aquarius, beautiful cards beautiful energies of, that are working out for you but i feel like the thing is like i pulled these clarifiers for you because i pulled the six of swords as well i feel like the thing that you need to walk away from the only thing that makes sense in your spread in this week is like you need to walk away from perhaps like the insecurities that you have with yourself because you can't open up yourself to these blessings in your life you won't be able to feel truly fulfilled in your life the ace of cups until you start owning like the more devilish side of yourself where you just like enjoy yourself a little bit be willing to just relax a little bit stop taking yourself so seriously stop taking this life so seriously aquarius like be willing to just have fun be willing to honor yourself be willing to just like have people see your silly side see your vulnerable side may even see like your uh, mischievous side. like whatever that looks like to you there needs to be like a level of where if you're not feeling fulfilled or like you, you've been feeling empty recently, Aquarius. I feel like just for some people, you just need to be more open up to the more youthful energies, be more active, become alive again. I feel like this is a week for you to just start feeling alive again. Hold the some moon cards for you. Fixed moon, hold your vision. So yeah, um, hold your vision. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing what cards I, other cards I pulled. Um, holding your vision, full moon in Aquarius. So you're full moon, show the world the real you hello guys like please please okay i'm getting teary out because like can we just appreciate this moment of how the messages is coming out and like what i was trying to relay can we just have that moment and then we have the full moon in scorpio releasing a negativity guys you're literally releasing this negative remind yourself what it is that you're trying to accomplish if you don't want to push yourself on something because of your own insecurities put it in perspective stop making it about you and start making it about the message that you're putting, trying to put across you know think about the bigger picture on things release the negative uh imagery that you have or the energy or the thinking whatever it is with yourself walk away from it float away from it <laughs> you know <laughs> show the world the real you your full moon full moon in aquarius i can't make this up you guys <sighs> come on now come on don't play with me don't let this reading be a waste now come on appreciate this moment with me aquarius um, for your second row, we have the Emperor card, we have Queen of Swords, and then we have Three of Coins. So, I already have uh, some clarifiers that came out for you. So we have the Fool card, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay. Um, <laughs> so let me give you a little bit of, um, while I'm showing the start cards, let me give you a little bit of backstory. So we have the Emperor card. Um, when I was pulling for your second row, your three of coins i wasn't quite sure it came out as inverted and then i was just like i feel like it could be either way for you aquarius so with this three of coins energy with the queen of swords this i very much so read this as like divorce energy <laughs> like this three of coins because it's like you look closely at it, it's a contract of some sort um in whatever shape or form so i view this as like divorce energy because it's like you're the Queen of Swords is helping you, which is, could just be like your alter ego, right? I, I speak of like, the, in this kind of case, I speak of it like, you know how Beyonce has, you probably don't know. <laughs> um, but Beyonce speaks of her alter ego being Sasha Fierce. Like this would be like your Sasha Fierce, um, your alter ego. Um, so it's like you're cutting away. Um, maybe this is like a situation of like, you look into yourself of like why you have like this negative sense of perception of yourself. And maybe it's because of other people in your environment that make you feel ashamed of how you personally feel about yourself. So you always are afraid of showing the world the true you, but it's through this reading and through being able to just receive this blessing Aquarius that you become your alter ego queen of the swords and you cut off these people or cut off these habits that make you not see the beautiful person that you are that cloud this view of yourself. Um, because we do have the emperor card and I feel like this is you Aquarius. This is you coming into your power you're really trying to once once you come into your power aquarius you realize like the the real you is the emperor it's beautiful um 
And then we have a bunch of clarifiers in the Necronomicon. I had four clarifiers for you. Um, we had the Fool card, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So the Fool card, this is like, yeah, you're just committing to this. Once you realize, that, once you get a little bit of a taste of your power, it's like you're committing to this. You're, you know, the Two of Cups, um, I feel like this is, again, still related to something. So as I was saying before, like the, when I talked about like that divorce energy, I almost like I see it as like you're cutting off people, you're leaving like a workplace. If this is talking about business, uh, maybe cutting off certain habits. But with this two of cups paired with the 10 of cups, also paired with the four of cups, all these cups energies, I feel like this is all attached to I hear obsession of some sort, but it may be like this is like an obsession of like someone else um, cutting off an obsession of some from someone else or cutting off this obsession of like this could just be like the obsession that you've had with yourself of telling this narrative of like not liking yourself, right? With the this obviously this might be like your unique unique message to some people but with the with all these cups cards there's such a heavy push in some type of like uh some type of emotionally charged situation and when it comes to like with the necronomicon it's involving another party so it's like i don't know if i'm going to be completely honest but like i'm only going to say this and like give like a disclaimer that i really do feel like it's only for a certain number of people this kind of energy i feel like is just like a such a sign of like cutting off people um that you were at one point really close with because like they were like gaslighting you you know this is like obviously like at this point but like how what i see in the, this kind of spread with the ne necronomicon is almost as if something comes to light like you come to a realization and maybe you, like you have like a higher sense of self or whatever um you're just no longer allowing people of a certain vibration into your space anymore that's the kind of energy i'm going to just wrap it up from there but um yeah for your last row um this is necronomicon still ace of cups so your challenge this week is going to be ace of cups queen of cups inverted and then the six of swords inverted as well so it's almost as if like i see this as don't be f feeling guilted this week aquarius don't feel guilty for putting yourself first don't feel guilty for um yeah i just feel like this week for you aquarius it's like don't there's just such a heavy talk in terms of your emotions like that's kind of been like the underlying current this entire time aquarius is like i feel like just be protective of your emotions i don't <laughs> you know this and i'm not trying to say there's like a specific person trying to like influence your emotions or anything like that um it could just be like your situation like your own guilt like if you're trying to leave like a situation like this could be the workplace maybe you just feel guilty about doing that so you don't take that leap uh that next step right you feel guilty about showing the world the real you because it might bring displeasure to other people sort of thing like you're thinking too much about other people's emotions and not yourself because the ace of cups coming in as that warning sign even though we pulled the ace of cups at the beginning for you this is going to be your challenging part like the only way that you can feel f truly fulfilled is by showing the world the real you which might just disappoint people in your life that don't know this side of you but then i challenge you in that should these people have that you and been part of your life in the first place if they didn't know the real you they need to make the decision of connecting to the real you so they know if you guys are truly a match so at some point you need to allow it to happen you just have to make the choice of when you're going to allow it to happen is it going to be now or from two years from now that you're going to show this authentic version of yourself because until you show that authentic version of yourself aquarius i don't see these blessings coming forward to you i'm going to be really honest you really need to you're not going to claim this emperor energy until you unapologetically claim it until you sit on this throne and you correct people and be like actually i am an emperor <laughs> you know sort of thing claim your power um i pulled a bunch of extra cards for you i don't really even i don't even want to look at them aquarius i feel like that was like a summary i did not really mean to like channel a message there at the end but uh that's the reading that i have for you aquarius i really hope this reading was helpful to you if it was aquarius let me know which card resonated with you i would really love to hear about it um i really appreciate being able to provide this reading to you i hope it did give you a sense of direction and if it did please give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel so much but i hope i can have the privilege of providing another reading for you at some point in the future bye aquarius